and Noor Isa spends his days stitching shoes. But he says making ends meet has never been more difficult. We're really suffering now. We need no problems and all we want is for the war to end so that we can feed our families. And Noor is one of thousands who were drawn to here by the Red Sea ports, fishing, tourism and commercial activities. But things started to change when fighting began in April. Before the war, things were okay. Now everything became difficult. I used to make $50 a day. Now the customers don't buy as much as before and they complain because they can't even pay because they haven't even received their salaries. We're surviving only thanks to mutual solidarity within families. So the first thing to do is to increase salaries. But those salaries haven't even been paid for three months now. An influx of nearly 40,000 people escaping the fighting in Khartoum has made a complex situation even more difficult. A lot of aid has been sent here for the poor and the victims, but it's been sold in the shops. Man, this aid belongs to the poor, who were first to come here from long distances. They're sleeping in pavements. You must have compassion. For people in this part of the country, it's not the fear of bombs or flying bullets that marks their daily life. But it's rather the serious economic battle to feed their families or pay for basic life amenities. A situation that has always been difficult, but has now been made worse by the conflict. The UN says almost 3 million people in Sudan have been forced from their homes by the conflict. And along with millions more who are affected, they need humanitarian assistance. Mohamed Val, Al Jazeera.